and if all our deeds are accepted in the hereafter, and if we are successful in this world, and successful if we become successful in the hereafter, this is all a collective desire of all of us. And alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, every man is making effort and working towards this end point. Most definitely you all and myself, at this time we are gathered. And the reason that we are gathered is that we have heard a hadith from the respected scholars with regards to the majlis of dhikr of Allah. That to sit in these majalis and these gatherings, the insan, the human being, if he sits amongst good company, if he sits in a good environment, if he sits in a majma, a gathering of the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah. And just like this is the gathering of the dhikr of Allah, and this is da'wah and ta'aleem, propagation and education. These are all majalis, all gatherings of propagation, ta'aleem and dhikr. And we are also sat with this niyyah. It's not that we're sat for some other reason. All of these points that are made in the beginning, we're all here for this, to attain this uh, result. But let's think one thing here. And let's really understand this uh, in detail. That all of the things I've just said to you with regards to the juz of the deen, the parts of the deen. I've just told you the, diff- the summary of the different parts of the deen, the different portions of the deen. This is what we want. We want paradise. We want to be saved from hellfire. We want to link with Allah. We want Allah Ta'ala's pleasure. We want Allah Ta'ala's love. Isn't it? We want all of this. And all of those broken deeds that we have, that when they are presented in Allah's court, we want them to be accepted. This is what we want, isn't it? So different people are trying in different ways and making effort to get to this end point. But within all of this, there's one point I'd like to present to all of you, which the pious elders, our pious predecessors have defined. We need to hear this. That there's one such amal, one such amal, that if we don't pay attention to that amal, if we do not uh, implement that amal, and if we're negligent on that deed, and if we ignore that deed, or if we consider it as a minor, as insignificant, we don't think it's important, we don't give it importance in our lives, then the situation with regards to us, because if we are lacking with this one principal point, then we will not attain nothing. And all of those factors I've mentioned, whether regardless of whether I do ibadah all night long, all day long, even if I pray tahajjud in abundance, even I have so many deeds to my name, whatever I do, but the amal that I am telling you, if the human being, the insan, does not pay attention to it, doesn't give it importance, doesn't uh, direct himself to it or his efforts towards it, or doesn't give importance to it, then nothing will be attained within any factor of Islam that we are working upon or that we are making effort upon. Rather, because we won't have this amal, this specific deed, then eventually we'll see in the akhirah, people who implemented the most deeds of all will be presented to Allah. The Abideen, the Zahid, I can't say Zahid, but those were deeds, those were deeds. A lot of amal. And they'll be presented in the court of Allah. And from them all, they will have not one deed left to their name because they did not implement this one critical, pivotal deed that Allah has defined. Shall I tell you what is that deed? Shall I tell you first promise, will you do this deed? Inshallah. What's the point of telling you this deed, critical deed, if we don't practice it? So it's a true promise you make? Okay. Now let's see here. What we have to consider here is that due to the amal, there's light. And if we don't practice that amal, there's darkness. And that's the big difference between doing it and not doing it. We'll have to do this. We'll have to do this. Rather, this is ahsan. This is the ahsan. In reality, if we think, then this is the... The, the pivot of the deen. So I present this pivot of the deen in, into your service. That amal is this, my brothers, that whichever human being, whichever man, whichever woman, whichever male, whichever female has spent his life in such a way that due to him or her, due to him or her, due to that individual, Nobody received any difficulty or pain due to that person. 
So due to me, due to you, due to anyone, if a person lives his life, all his life, that due to that person, he doesn't give pain or difficulty to anyone else, then if he lives his life like this, then he will attain all of those rewards that are mentioned in the beginning, in the initial point.